Bo Bakers. My new favorite piece of baking equipment is a crock pot. They make moist, incredible desserts like the chocolate fudge brownie I'm gonna show you today. If you own one, then dust it off and let's get baking. Crock pots and slow cookers are amazing for baking because they actually bake and steam at the exact same time. So you end up with a really moist, soft brownie that you're going to want to eat straight out of the pot. If you don't own a crock pot, don't worry about it because you can also bake this exact recipe in the oven. We're gonna start out by making our brownie batter in a large bowl. Add in your chocolate and butter, and then melt these two ingredients together. You can do it over a bain-marie or in a microwave. As you can see, our butter and chocolate is melted gently. There's no more lumps, so to this, we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. Add in your vanilla extract and your beaten room temperature eggs, and then whisk them all together until it's combined. When adding in the eggs, you want to make sure that your chocolate mix has cooled enough so the eggs don't cook on top. For my chocolate recipes, I always suggest that you use good quality chocolate, something in the realm of 60 to 72% cocoa solids, so you get a lovely rich dessert at the end. Next, we're gonna add in our flour, white sugar, dark brown sugar, cocoa powder, and salt, and then gently mix all these ingredients together. You know, we all know about making cakes in a microwave, but you never think about baking in a crock pot or a slow cooker. It makes so much sense. You can just set it and forget it. When your brownie batter is mixed, lastly, we are going to fold in some lovely chocolate chips because a brownie would not be a brownie without chocolate chips. You can probably see by this recipe that it's one of those really fudgy brownies. It's my absolute favorite brownie recipe. Now that it's all mixed up, it's ready to go into the crock pot. The crock pot that I'm using has a four quart bowl, so it's actually pretty big. If yours is a little bit smaller, that's totally fine. It'll still work. Before you add in your brownie batter to your bowl, we're gonna use my little trick of taking an old butter paper and then just grease the sides of your bowl. It just means that your brownie won't stick in there and also when it comes to washing off, it'll make your life a lot easier. Pour your chocolatey brownie mix into your greased crock pot. Once you put in your brownie mix, if you need to flatten it out, then just do so with your spatula and make it nice and even on top. So what I have here is a mix of hot water, brown sugar and cocoa powder and what we're going to do is pour it directly on top of the brownie. You don't want to stir it, just pour it straight on top. So what this mix actually does is creates that steam that I was telling you about earlier and that's what makes the brownie really moist. So it's like a magic mix. Then simply just put on the lid. Now this chocolate fudge brownie does take a while to cook. I'm gonna cook mine on high, but every crock pot and slow cooker is different, so I advise you just to keep an eye on yours, but I'm going to show you throughout the cooking what it's supposed to look like so you'll know when it's done. The recipe for this chocolate fudge brownie, along with lots more, can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. So I just wanted to show you that after an hour and a half, this is what my brownie looks like. As you can see, it's starting to bake up into the liquid and it's starting to get really moist. So it's still not ready yet. We've got a bit to go, but it's looking great. So back on the lid and we'll come back when it's done. My chocolate fudge brownie is done. The kitchen smells like a chocolate factory. And I'm just gonna show you exactly what it should look like. Look at that, how moist it is. All the cake has risen up. It's absorbed all of that liquid. For right now, I'm gonna take it out of the crock pot and set it aside for around 30 minutes. Let it relax, set, and then it's ready to be eaten. Serve yourself a big scoop straight from the crock pot and I like to top it off with some vanilla ice cream. This chocolate fudge brownie is the reason I love crock pots because it is soft and moist and absolutely delicious. I know it might not look like the best dessert we ever made on Bigger Boulder Baking, but I can guarantee you it is the tastiest. Make sure you head over to my website where I've got lots more crock pot and microwavable cakes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back here next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking. Gotta get going. Gonna meet a friend today.